How's it going guys? Welcome to another video and today we've got this old El Paso chili beef burrito bowl and this was £4.50 from Tesco. So uh, yeah, I've been looking at this for quite a while. I think it's a little bit expensive in all honesty uh, without that's before even trying it. There's a few old El Paso meals knocking around in the uh, in the fridge section. I know yeah, I've spotted this one and I thought let's give it a go. Is it going to be worth the four pound fifty? Probably not, but uh, but the price of ready meals now. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Even if it is decent, it's probably still never worth that much. But we'll have a little look at it anyway. So we've got serves one amigo on the front. We've got a medium heat. There's your calories. So we've got six hundred and fifty-eight calories inside there. Let's have a little read what we've got on the back. So we've got a wheat flour tortilla served with a minced beef chili sauce, spiced rice topped with red Leicester, a medium mature cheddar cheeses and sliced red jalapeno chili. Uh, the only cooking instructions that we have are uh, just to go in the oven. There's no microwave instructions. It's not suitable for microwave heating as it says there. Um, so yeah, let's have a little closer look. So here's what you get. I mean, it's, it's quite a heavy pot to be honest um yeah it looks like there's plenty of cheese in there uh i'm guessing all the uh, all the beef is at the bottom um plenty of rice in there as well a few uh, chilies on the top we'll give it a go like i say it is four pound fifty i don't think it's going to be worth it but um but yeah i fancy trying it out I was, like I say, I've been looking at them for a while and I fancy trying it out. So, uh, so yeah, we'll do that. Right, I'll get it cooked up and then we'll have a closer look at him. Right then, guys, it's all cooked up. Obviously not plated up because I just can't be bothered. I'm just going to eat it as it is. Uh, no, it is a burrito. Normally you're meant to uh, eat them sort of wrapped up, uh, but I don't think that's going to be possible with this. It's just come out of the oven and it's absolutely boiling. Yeah, and it's falling apart anyway, so I'm not even going to bother. All right, let's dig in then, shall we? So we'll get a bit of this rice first. Just a little bit of rice on its own, I think. There you go. I mean, it's all right. It's not a massive amount of flavour in there, if I'm honest. Just get in a bit of this, uh, get a bit of this beef, beef covered in cheese. Steaming up. Let's try it out. Again, pretty uh, pretty plain. Can't really taste much of the cheese, to be honest. All the beef. Let's try a uh, try one with a jalapeno on. See if we can get a bit more flavour. A bit better. I wouldn't say it's amazing. It looks like there's a fair amount of beef, to be fair. Let's get a bit of... Uh, Sod it, let's just rip it off with our hands. We'll try a bit of everything. Let's get a bit more of that on there. So yeah, let's try a bit of everything together. It's not bad. I mean, it's not brilliant. It's not bad. There's uh, there's a bit of flavour coming from the, um, from the jalapenos. But other than that, you couldn't tell the difference if the well, you couldn't tell that there's two cheeses in there to be fair. Um, so yeah, but I'll reserve judgment until I've finished it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, finish it all off now and then uh, we'll come back to you and we'll rate them out of 10. See you in a minute.
right then, guys, all finished? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It weren't too bad. Um, the more I ate, the more I sort of enjoyed it. I mean, it's pretty average in most places. The rice doesn't really... Uh, it's not a spicy rice. It's just sort of a plain rice. Doesn't really taste of uh, of a fat deal, to be honest. The beef itself, there was quite a lot, to be fair. Um, it was quite a tasty, tasty beef. Not much in the way of spice. The only spice is coming from the jalapenos. And the cheese, I couldn't really taste at all until the end. Um, so, yeah, it was like I say, it's not a really bad, it's not a bad dish. Uh, would I go mad for it and would I go and buy it again? Probably not unless it was on the reduced. At £4.50, uh, I was expecting a little bit more. And especially as it's not a supermarket-owned brand. Um, yeah, a little bit, little bit disappointed. Um, but like I said, having said that, like I said, I would have it again. Um and yeah, for me, it's a decent uh, it's a decent little thing to have in the fridge if it's on the reduced, but at full price, uh, yeah, not for me this one. Um, score wise, I think we're going to go six out of ten. Like I could say it's not bad, but it's not great. I've had a Morrison's burrito and that was better. Um, so yeah, you probably can get to come get better supermarket burritos than this but um but yeah not a bad meal but just they're pretty average uh, in most departments anyway guys thanks a lot for watching as always if you haven't really liked to subscribe you can do so if you so wish and i'll see you in the next one take care of yourselves cheers